Stay so fresh, so clean, think they like me, like me. I wear more supreme than a hype bitch. Hype bitch. Only blue, no green, don't excite me. I can make a hoe out your wife. Jeremy's got up on my toes, act like Shaki. Made her get down on the bottom and she tied me. Pull up extra icy, I'm not playing hockey. Niggas think I'm weird and they don't really like me. Cause I can fuck your bitch and fuck your mom and auntie. Your girl's a fight, but your mom is a dime piece. And your auntie, her name is Miss Connie. I got one Glock, his name Clyde, the other one ain't Bonnie. These bitches, they think they dandy, but they be just lying. What's up, guys? It's your boy Terry Hans back again in another video. I'ma hope you and your family are safe during quarantine. So, as you guys know, most places are closed, and including my karate school and a lot of tracks, which I can't go to. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a QA today, track edition. Let's get it. First question that we got is, uh, what's your favorite track effect? Um, it's a good one. You know, it's between the 60 and 100. It used to be the 200 in high school, but you know, I think after my injuries, I just kind of like loved the 200, which I'm probably gonna get back into, but I'm gonna have to say more than 100. I'm probably gonna take my 10-6 over the 6-9. Who's your favorite track athlete? Um, my favorite track athlete is actually Justin Gatlin. Yeah, I know um, a lot of people aren't like a huge fan of him. You know, they're always more on the Usain side or Christian Pullman side or anything. But yo, Justin Gatlin has been like such a big inspiration. Well, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, this is just inspirational, bro. Man. Bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this quick clip for like five minutes, bro. Justin Gatlin, yeah, um, he's very inspirational. You know, he helps the community out, and he's just very dedicated to his work, and I respect that. But what are my goals for track? My goals for track time-wise, I wanted a 10-4 high, 10-5 low. I think that's definitely a reachable time, but, um, you know, this thing got canceled, and there's nothing I can do about that now. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus! So, right now, I'm just kind of focused on the 60. I didn't have, like, such a great 60 year this year. It wasn't the best one. I only had, like... Uh, seven weeks to train with the team, which is still not an excuse, but it happens. I guess it's that transition phase part of my track career. So at the same time, my hit last year was 695, and I hit that time again. I thought about it. I want to run a 67 in the 60 meters. I want to run a 10. I want to say 104. So let's, let's just put 104 down there, and for the 200, um, let's put a 21 mid and think. I think those are reachable times. Non time wise goals, I probably want to go for NCAA regionals next year for the 100 and probably place it up in my conference. I know that I have bigger goals in mind and those never leave my mindset, but you know, I always got to take those baby steps first. So, you know, once I complete those goals, then we can start going on to the next ones. Man, I knew this one was coming. Uh, why do you wear all pink during track meets? You know, <laughs> Um, I think when I ran my first 10, I was wearing pink calf sleeves. So the first 10 I ever ran in my life was a 10-7. And ever since then, I was just like running 10s there. So I'm like, yo, maybe this is the power of like the pink calf sleeves. That's why I wear it. I think it looks cool, you know? Um, I'm gonna get the pink arm sleeves and then the pink headband next year. So if you see a guy running a 10-4 with like wearing like all pink, you know who was who. Ha ha ha! What's your favorite track meet? My favorite track meet has to be Penn Relay in 2016. You know, the hotel fights. Um, just a lot of stuff went down there. Even though we dropped the baton and I kind of messed that up for my relay. <laughs> but you know, it was just fun. You know, Penn Relay is probably like, honestly the best meet. I think it's better than New Balance Nationals, honestly. But that has to be my favorite track meet overall. When did you start track? I started track in high school as a sophomore. What are your best times in track? So my best 55 time is a 6.55, um, which is a high school time. Um, my best 60 is a 6.95, which correlates to a 6.48, if you don't know how to convert it. Um, my best 100 meter time is a 10.69 last year. My best 200 time from high school was a 22.24, and I haven't run the 200 since I mean, I only ran it once, but we already know what happened.
I know I'm capable of running a 21 mid, it's just if my body's healthy enough to handle it. And that's what I'm trying to work back up to again, try to get my body right to run a 21, hopefully. Maybe 21 low, that would be great, but you know, just at least get something 21. 400, I don't really have like a open time, but I do have an official split that I ran at Penny Relays my senior year was a, was a 50.1, and I only ran the 400 like once, and that was it. After that 50.1, my high school coach just put me on 4x4s four four ever since, and I was just getting around like 50, like 51s, like, it's an average time, but it's just nothing like too crazy. But I mean, it, it was alright. If I was to run it now, split wise, it has to be like under 50, definitely. I don't know what it will be, but definitely under there. What is your favorite moment from track? So I think my favorite moment has to be when I made it to states for the 55. And the reason why I say that, because it brings my memories from when I was a sophomore and I was a no, I was a nobody. Um, running a 7.4 and a 55. And then from senior year, running a 6.55, and then becoming number th uh, three in the county. I was fifth on Long Island, and I was top 20 in the state. I believe I placed 14th in states, which I didn't make the finals. I did have a chance because everybody was moving that day. Uh, eighth place made it back with a six five day. I had a chance. Um, you know, I gave it my all, so there's no regrets. I don't regret anything. Have you ever had thoughts about becoming pro? Um, yeah, I definitely have thoughts. You know, um, and if I was gonna do it, uh, it would be for Team Trinidad. But you know, that's a long way to go. You know, I still got so much to do in college. Like, I need to go to NCAA regionals. I need to go to nationals. You know, I need to become my conference champion. Like, those are like the little steps I need to take in order to get to that point. So, it's cool to think about it, but you gotta think about the pre request as well. So, what I wanna run pro, I mean, of course, man. You know, if I hit the time, good, why not? But, you know, um, right now I'm probably just gonna enjoy my college track experience and just have fun with that. So I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below. I'll catch y'all.